Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news coming out of Canada. ISIS has come to Canada uh, on the heels of yesterday's soldier being run over. Now a soldier in Canada has been shot. I repeat, breaking news, a soldier in Canada has been shot. You're looking at an actual picture from the site of a war memorial there in Ottawa, Canada. The, un, the uh, uniformed soldier was shot at the Canadian War Memorial this morning by a gunman dressed in dark clothing who fled toward the Parliament Hill. Uh, so we've got this breaking news. We do not know the condition of the soldier. We don't know his name, but uh, this is not a good thing. He was shot at a war museum. This comes on the heels of yesterday. A Canadian soldier dies after being struck by a suspected Islamic militant driver. Um there's uh, reports are that an officer is investigating an overturned vehicle. Uh, one of two Canadian soldiers is run down by a car driven by a suspected Islamic militant. Um, this man, the, the soldier that was run over, has died. Um, this is the first incident of terrorism in Canada. Well, folks, it has been followed with a shooting of a Canadian soldier at a war memorial in downtown Ottawa. Uh, and let me just say this. Walid Shubat will be our guest on this Friday, October the 24th, 2014, at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Uh, also on Blog Talk Radio and on old live stream and new live stream. So if you want to listen to it or watch it. But uh, Wallet Shubat has just got a breaking story yesterday on the American television journalist who exposed that Turkey was supporting ISIS. Well, this American TV journalist has now died in a suspicious car accident. And yet nobody's talking about this on the American TV News networks. It's one of their own. This American TV journalist was accused of spying? What? Following her recent story blaming Turkey of allowing the Islamic State militants to cross into Kobani, she's now died in a suspicious accident. And I got the whole story on that. Uh, and I'll share that during my live broadcast today from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. From 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, we'll share that with you today. I'll also give you the details of a woman stoned to death in front of her father by ISIS, and then the father helps stone her. Um, also, uh, I have information on uh, how did the how did the United States drop a, a, a skid of supplies into the hands of ISIS? And ISIS is now showing off the new weapons and supplies they got from an American airdrop. How in the world can we make a mistake like that? Or was it a mistake? There's a whole lot. We'll give you all the details on all of this stuff in, uh, in today's live broadcast at my website. Today, as always, Monday through Friday, 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.publiclyprophecy.com. And don't forget, Friday, Walid Shubat will be our guest for only one hour out of the three. So you don't want to miss it. He's, only, he's got a tight schedule. He's given us one hour. And we want to find out how Turkey is playing a major role in ISIS and the Middle East. And does the, the Antichrist spirit, is the mark of the beast tied to ISIS? We're going to find out all of that and more. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Pray for Canada. Pray for the people of Canada. ISIS has come to Canada.